TGIF. There's no better way to end your week than with a block of mind-numbing TV sitcoms. That's what it was. On Friday nights, ABC Network would run two hours of shows like Full House and Perfect Strangers. The lineup changed many times throughout the 90s, but the show I remember most fondly by far was Family Matters. And to this day, it's never been released on DVD. Full House is on DVD. So is Perfect Strangers. Dinosaurs. So is Mr. Belvedere. Boy Meets World and even Sister Sister. But no Family Matters. We'll have to stick to our VHS tapes recorded off TV. So let's enjoy some of the greatest clips. Now of course this show started off like a regular sitcom, and a good one at that, until one character came along and changed everything. Hi Mr. Winslow, I'm Steve Urkel. It's already funny, just the name Urkel makes me laugh. He quickly became the main focus of the show, and over the next 10 years as the show became more and more desperate for new ideas, Urkel was running the ship. Give me some credit, this blunderbuss is fake, look! Jaleel White's acting talent held it all together and showed how diverse and capable he was. He could take a fall like a champ. From one nerd to another nerd, I give my salutes. A top 10 just won't cut it. That's why it's going to be 20. Yeah, you can't mess around when you're talking about the Earth Man. We're going to break the laugh track. It's Cinemassacre's top 20 Urkel moments. Number 20, Romeo Urkel. After two seasons of trying to score a kiss with Laura Winslow, Urkel gets his chance during a school play of Romeo and Juliet. When the original Romeo gets sick, Urkel jumps in and fills the role. Smooth move, but he gets a little too excited. Oh, mama! Number 19, Super Urkel vs. Abe Lincoln. In a Halloween episode, Urkel and Laura are held hostage in a bank by a robber dressed as Lincoln. Urkel goes into a fantasy and saves the day. It's the first time we've ever seen Urkel beat somebody up, even though it is just a dream scene. Number 18, Christmas Destruction. Urkel was always destroying the Winslow home, like Godzilla destroying Japan. Hopefully they had Urkel insurance, because it just never stops, even on Christmas. Number 17, the Urkel Blues. Urkel's parents couldn't stand him. That's why they often went on vacation and left him alone, so he'd sleep over the Winslows and keep them up all night with his accordion. Yeah, pocket protecting, bug collecting, constant rejection, Urkel Blue. <laughs> Number 16, Urkel impersonates the mask. This is one of the most surreal moments of the whole series. Check it out. Don't tell me. Let me guess. Jim Carrey in my mask. <laughs> Somebody stop me! That came out of Urkel's mouth? That's even better than Jim Carrey. Number 15, Myrtle Urkel. What we have here in this episode is a battle between a brother and sister using Urkel's as the weapon. Eddie encourages Steve to serenade Laura at her window. Feelings. When Steve's cousin Myrtle comes to visit and gets the hots for Eddie, Laura gets her revenge. The client just standing next to you makes me feel faint. <laughs> Myrtle is out of her mind and equipped with a grappling hook. This is a woman that takes control. It's disturbing and funny. I, sir, am a lady. Number 
number 14, Mortal Kombat Urkel. Mortal Kombat and Urkel are two things that are hard to imagine in one sentence. The Winslow family is playing some kind of fighting game, very much in the style of Mortal Kombat, when suddenly Urkel joins in. This seems like something a fan would have made as an online flash game, but here it is in an actual episode of Family Matters. Number 13, Trading Places. Though Urkel was a walking disaster, he was a scientific genius. As the show progressed, it started to become more like a science fiction than a comedy, with every episode revolving around Urkel's experiments. One of the most memorable was a transformation chamber that turned him into the suave, cool Stefan Urkel. It was like Jekyll and Hyde, with Urkel always changing back and forth between Steve and Stefan. But then one time, Urkel made a cloning machine so Stefan could become a permanent character on the show. Now this was going a little too far, but the moment that strikes me is when they swap identities. All right, now for the walk. So we have Stefan pretending to be Steve, and Steve pretending to be Stefan. Since Stefan is closer to the real actor, Jaleel White, it's as if he's playing a character who's playing himself, and playing himself playing the character. That's a complicated acting job right there. Number 12. Yeah. Badass Urkel. Urkel tries to help Carl make a bust on a street gang known as the Dragons. So Urkel tries to pretend to be one of them. And man, is he badass. A deranged, anti-social, bloodthirsty psycho! What are you looking at? <laughs> Number 11, American Gladiators. When Carl and Urkel get into an argument, they decide the only way to settle it is to compete on American Gladiators. That's all I need to say. Number 10, The Grenade. We know that Urkel's always going around being clumsy, breaking stuff, or getting people all messy. But can you imagine him seriously injuring anybody? Or how about getting someone killed? In this episode, he joins the army, knocks over a row of soldiers like dominoes, and accidentally sets off a grenade. That shouldn't even be funny, but it is. Number 9. Evil Urkel Dummy The last two Halloween episodes got really out of hand. This is when we're introduced to the evil dummy, Steevil. It's a lot like a classic Twilight Zone episode, except it's Urkel. I really don't know what to think about this. The second time around, we're introduced to an evil Carl dummy named Carlsbad. It's outrageous. I don't know how many people were still watching the show this late in the ninth season, but looking back, man was it weird. Number 8, Get Down. This one speaks for itself. It's classic Urkel. Get back! Get back! <laughs> Look out, dude on the loose! Look out, dude on the loose! Get down! Get down! Get down with your bad self! Get down with my bad self! Get all the way down! Get all the way down! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! <laughs> Get down! Number seven, the Urkel dance. Why do the Steve Urkel dance? All you have to do is hitch up your pants, bend your knees, and stick out your pelvis. I'm telling you, baby, it's better than that. How can one man be so nerdy and so hip at the same time? There's not much context I could really give this. It's just the Urkel dance. Do the Urkel. It's funny to think this might be the most famous Urkel moment of all, but I still have six left to top it. Number six, exploding dinner. Carl tries to impress the police commissioner with a big dinner at a fancy banquet, but somehow Urkel's new experimental fireworks get into the food, a recipe for destruction. It's doomsday for that place.
Number 5, The Accordion Duel. Toward the end of the fourth season, Laura almost successfully gets Steve off her back by setting him up with Myra. Myra became a main character and part of the love triangle with Steve, but her funniest moment was when she breaks the ice with an accordion duel. trying to get accepted into a real high-class university, so he tries to turn himself into Albert Einstein, but instead the plan backfires and he becomes Elvis. Number three, Urkelbot. It's another one of those science fiction episodes. Urkel creates a robot in his own image. The way it moves is so artificial, I wondered if it really was an actual robot. But inside the costume is none other than dancer Michael Chambers, known as Boogaloo Shrimp. He really knows how to move. The robot goes berserk, chasing after Laura, and Steve has to come to the rescue. It's very much like Frankenstein or a 1950s B-movie where a science experiment goes out of control. A great episode. Number two, Bruce Lee Urkel. After Urkel gets beaten up by a gang of thugs, he turns himself into Bruce Lee and shows them a lesson. I bet you never thought a TV sitcom could have this much action. It's too good to be real, and it's too good to be just one episode. That's why they brought Bruce Lee Urkel back in two more episodes, featuring more of the Winslow family being turned into Bruce Lee's. It's just completely insane. There's nothing like seeing Urkel beat the crap out of everybody. These scenes could easily rank as number one, but there's only one better way to go out, and that's to see Urkel kill everybody. You're looking at a 50 megaton thermonuclear device. You mean... That's right, baby. Your very own atom bomb. Number one, the Urkel A-bomb. 